Prove the following trigonometric identity. Square root of 1 plus sin x divided by 1 minus sin x is equal to secant x plus tan x. So here what we will use is rationalization. Okay. So <coughs> normally in square root, whenever you get square root identities, use rationalization. So let me explain you the technique of rationalization. So we'll use rationalization. So here what we do is we multiply and divide by the conjugate, right? So in this case, we'll multiply and divide by 1 plus sin x square root, right? Once we do that, then, uh, you know, uh, we will get a square plus, when you do a plus b times a minus b, what do you get? You get a square minus b square, right? So that is what we get and that helps us to simplify uh, our problem. So, so let's see how to use this technique in this particular case. So let's start with the left side. So we have left side which is equals to, let me write this as square root of 1 plus sin x divided by square root of 1 minus sin x. So what we'll do is we'll multiply and divide by 1 minus sin x. conjugate of 1 minus sin x, which is 1 plus sin x, divided by 1 plus sin x, correct? So if we do so, in the numerator, we get 1 plus sin x, right? Because square of square root is whatever inside, right? So we get 1 plus sin x in the numerator, divided by here we get within the square root 1 minus sin x times 1 plus sin x, correct? They will get multiplied. And this is like a plus b times a minus b, right? So here we will get this as 1 plus sin x divided by square root of 1 minus sin square x. Is it okay? a square minus b square, correct? Same. And as you know, what is 1 minus sine square x? It is cos square x, correct? So we could write this as equal to 1 plus sine x divided by square root of cos square x, correct? How did we get that? We got it from utilizing our Pythagorean identity cos square x plus sine square x equals to 1, right? So 1 minus sine square x will be cos square x. Is it okay? We use this here, right? To get cos square x. Now this could be written as 1 plus sine x divided by cos x which is 1 over cos x plus sin x over cos x which is secant x plus tan x 1 over cos x secant x plus tan x and that is our right side okay so we prove left side equals to right side and therefore the identity is always true